Hi, this is Alexis from Akenza. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to our data flows. Data flows define the data processing chain in Akenza. In three simple steps, they allow defining how the device data is processed and where it is used. So let's create our first data flow. For that, I just need to go under data flows, and then I will start by creating a new data flow. Here, I have the possibility of choosing one of the existing templates or create a data flow from scratch. Let's create a new data flow. First, we need to choose our device connector, which is simply the connectivity technology used by your device. For the purpose of this video, I will use the HTTP device connector. Here first you see the HTTP device connectors that we created in the past, and now below I can create my new connector. Just need to give it a name and save the connector. The second step is to choose the device type. If your data doesn't need to be decoded, you can simply choose the pass-through option. Now, choosing a specific device type will instruct Akenza on how to parse the device payload. For that, we can choose um, a device from our device type library or create our own device type. But that's going to be for another video. So here, I will choose our simulator the device simulator from Akenza. Finally, we need to specify where the device data will be used. Akenza offers different output connectors, as you can see on the right side. For now, I will use the Akenza database. Later, I can decide to add other output connectors to my data flow. So I can decide, for example, to send the data um, to Azure IoT Hub or to send notification via email or Microsoft Teams. And that's it, uh, we can save our data flow. We just need to give it a name and optionally a description and we're ready to use our data flow in our workspace. And that's all about the data flows of Akenza. See you in the next video, bye.